Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarten with Weingarten Racing. Please ignore my voice, uh, it appears I might have caught a cold. This video today is about this Edelbrock 2970. If you're a small block Chevy guy, there's only a few choices for a Dominator flange uh, manifold. This being one, the other one being the BMP 4500. Now there's a couple new ones getting ready to come on the market. Chris Uratko has one, but I don't know when it's gonna be available and quite honestly, it's gonna be pretty expensive. There's somebody else a 3D printed one. It looks okay, but I don't imagine. I don't. We'll see. That one's another one that's probably gonna end up being expensive. Um, but anyway, almost any manifold has to be ported, even if they say it doesn't have to be ported. Um, I guess you're a reporter, you'll see it. But regardless, this is probably one of the more common manifolds you'll see. This one's part number is not on here. It looks like, but it's a part number 29. That's where it is. Part number 2970. If you ever see a 71 that was made for a raised runner, what that one is, the ports are raised up. This one is a 2970. It's made for a regular port head. Now, there's some things I'm going to show you with this you may not know that might help you out. So, clearly, I've ported it. It has a clover leaf from the factory that's been removed. Um, this guy's, he's running, the reason why you see these in nozzles are not for nitrous, this is actually for methanol injection. So, like a Ron's toilet type of deal. Anyway, because it's running alcohol, there's a burr finish on the floor. This one I left my normal. I could have burr finished the whole thing, but I, the fuel falls out of suspension. It doesn't fall up, it falls down. So, um, anyway, this is what it is. And this is by far, to me, it's my best 4500 manifold that there is, is this one, the 2970. It's better than the BMP. However, for the longest time, you just could not get these because Autobrock just wasn't putting it out. Now, how much better it is than a BMP? A little. Chris Ratko's deal could be a lot better than this one for sure, um, but it's also gonna be extremely more expensive. But I wanted to show this with you. So what this was going on is a set of ported AFR-220s. So I did a, what I call a bastard port, and what I mean by that is, the port itself, as far as height-wise, is about a 1207. Now, it's got more corner radius than 1207 gasket, so it's not quite gasket anyway, matched. It shouldn't be, but it's 1207 tall, but about a little bit smaller than a 1206 wide, hence the, called the bastard. Now, in this case, I have a mock-up block, I put it on there, and what I did was I checked to see how much actual space it was. So, what I mean is, this is the distance. So, 1207, you're gonna end up, usually you end up raising it up, and then you also bring it down. So, what ends up happening is, you can kind of tell by that, that's where his old silicone line was from a 1206. You can see there's not much room. So you say, well, wouldn't it be higher? Did, couldn't you bring it up higher? Well, I couldn't. So this is one of those situations where a lot of you have, and this is, you probably have seen this more often than not. It's when you put the manifold on, so you put it on your block, and you start seeing the intake port coming through. So you can see the intake port of your head above this intake face. You're like, oh crap, what do I do? In this guy's case, when I put a 1207 gasket on, the blue strip, that's on the Felpro gasket was actually above this line. So I was like, crap, what do I do? Well, first off, the biggest thing is, why does that happen? Because the, whoever manufactured this manufactured it wrong, which was Edelbrock. Uh, guys, stop milling this crap out of this. This drives me literally insane. Holly does the same thing on some of them. You can't ever get the same. Why on earth don't you leave it taller? It, it, ne it blows my mind. You're like, well, it's going to hit the heads. We've got to accommodate all aftermarket heads. I have yet in my lifetime on a small block Chevy ever had a manifold, period, hit here, hit where the valve cover rail comes up at an angle here. Ever hit, period. Big block Chevy, profiler's the only one. Never any other ones. Why in the world do you keep taking so much material off? Could you leave no material for this? So you're like, well, what do you do? Well, you've got a couple options. One, you can take a welder and you can have put a big old fat bead right through here so that you end up having more material here so that the gaskets and seal. Or you could do a second thing, which is this. These are actually thicker intake gaskets. This is part number 1267. That's for, a, it's a 120 thick, so it's twice the thickness of a 12, a regular 1207 gasket. Um, 1207 gasket, I should say. And that's what this is. So it's double thickness. And what this does is when you use these, you essentially raise the manifold up on the head. So what that does is it gives you more material here. So it's, it's a Band-Aid, essentially. 
because you raise that manifold up, you've got, since the port's here, if you can raise the manifold up, you'll have more material here above it. Now, granted, you'll have to grind more off on the bottom, but you'll end up having more material. So you can see how I left way more corner radius here because um, that side doesn't jack shit. <laughs> but anyway, that's one way to help. Only the problem is it's a band-aid. It's only gonna raise it up a little bit, 60 thousands, which that gives you about that much space on this case, which is better than it was because you could see whether the silicone line was for the 1206 before that was on. We're not that far away. So because raising it up and ra raising the ports and with that thicker gasket, we've got about the same material. However, had I not done that, it had been 60 thou, like just a fart of a place for the intake to touch the actual head. Not ideal. So just as a note for you guys to help you guys out, if you come across a situation where you set the intake on and you see the blue strip, if it's a foul pole gasket, or you see the intake ports or the heads, a thicker gasket will make up for it. And Felpro does make it, so does other manufacturers. That will raise it up and help you. The other alternative, obviously, is to weld. The problem with welding is it will absolutely fix it. But when you weld here, you're putting heat. And I guarantee you, you've got to, because of the weld here, you've got to surface this whole flange here. So when you do that, you actually lower the manifold down. So that makes things a little bit worse. But it does true up the surface, and you have to. You can't just weld here and expect it. Oh, I can get it perfect. I'll just grind and take a little flapper disc or something here. It won't work. It won't seal. So it takes more work than, than you think. So kind of a pain in the rear. So anyway, I thought I'd tell you guys that in case you ever come across that situation. This is 1267s for a 1207 gasket. If you want the thicker 1206 gasket, it's 1266. Um, I have never tried, but so, I mean, in theory, you could sandwich these together and use it like that, and then you would raise your ports up even more. I don't know how well those would hold together. I think people have done it before. I haven't. You might say, well, what about the distributor? Because with a small block Chevy distributor sitting here, if you raise the intake manifold, doesn't it raise that up? Well, and to be quite honest with you, chances are the manifold's too low anyway. So raising it up is actually better for you. So it probably fixed whatever alignment issues you had, not made it worse. But if that happens, which would be extremely rare in my opinion, um, get adjustable slip collar distributor. So, and honestly, if you're getting a brand new build, get one anyway, I just straight up, you're going to need it, but it's very rare where you have to actually take off, um, on the distributor itself to make it sit lower. It's usually the opposite where you got to add shims in because the manifold or the heads have been milled. So then it makes this sit lower. That distance isn't really going to change a whole lot for your distributor alignment, but always of course check. You could be that one freak scenario. Anyway. There you go, some more information to help you out. You guys take care.